All right, how about an explanation of the Atwood machine? Once I get a pencil. Newland here, everybody. Probably should have started with that. Atwood machine. Again, I need the pen tool, not the erase tool. So imagine we have a pulley attached to you know the wall somehow, and over it is a light string that has two masses, M1, and another one here, M2. And we'll go ahead and say here, let's attach the pulley to the actual ceiling. Let's go ahead and say that M1 is, uh, no, let's do the other way. Let's do M1 less than M2. So we know they're out of balance if we were to let these two objects go. So how do we do this? The uh, kind of most straightforward way is to apply Newton's second law on each block independently. So let's draw M1 right here. Here's put a little dotted line so we don't get confused. There's M1. M1 has the force due to gravity pulling it down, and it's got tension pulling it up. There are no forces happening horizontally. So we could say that the sum of the forces on M1 will be, we know it's accelerating, so the uh, sum of the forces could be zero, it could be ma, it could be mv squared over r for an object moving in a circle at a constant speed. Here it's m1 times a. And then we know, and again this is in the y direction. And um, let's call, since m1 uh, is the less massive of the two, when this thing is out of balance, the whole system is going to want to accelerate that way. So we're going to call that our plus y direction. So the sum of the forces on m1 is m1a, which equals the positive one minus the negative one. So m1t, uh, the tension up minus m1g. So I'm going to put another little dashed line because it's important that we, well, let's draw the other one. Then here's m2. It's important we uh, look at them independently, but then I want to talk about how they're related. So downward was going to be M2G. Remember, M2 is greater. Upward is tension. So in this case, I'm going to call down positive plus Y. And if we look back at the uh, whole diagram, the system is going to want to move in this direction. So it's going to want to have a tendency to move M1 up, M2 down. And it's very important to recognize that since the pulley's mass is so small that it's negligible, since there's no friction in the pulley, since the string is not changing shape in any way, that means that the tension that is being pulled up on M1 is the same as the tension that's being pulled down on M2. That means that this system is moving as a unit. So whatever the... Here, I'm going to draw my arrow a little better. Whatever the acceleration is for M1, I see the same acceleration for M2. So they're accelerating the same way, but it's an unbalanced pair of forces, which is why M1 is moving up and M2 is moving down. So back to the Newton's second law, or number two. This one's M2A. Again, same acceleration, but now down is positive because that's the way the, the system is accelerating. So that'll be M2G minus tension. So, and I'm going to go ahead and jot in here my sum of the forces on one. M1A equals T minus M1G. And by writing them together that way, we can do a little bit of trickery when trying to relate the acceleration of the system to gravity. I'm going to add these two equations together. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to get M1A plus M2A. And on the right-hand side, the tensions will cancel out. Oops, I didn't mean to erase it there. But the tension here and the tension there, they're going to cancel each other out. So you're going to be left with M2G minus M1G. So hopefully you can recognize the almost, that's a sort of classic Atwood uh, machine equation. I'm going to factor out A on the left and G on the right. So A times M1 plus M2 equals G times M2 minus M1. And we have a final sort of answer here of acceleration of the system is equal to gravity times the ratio of the difference of the masses over the sum of the masses. And uh, don't forget it. So it's difference over sum 
And for the difference, it's always big minus small. And then over total. So those are all kind of the same thing. This is the classic Atwood machine. All right, that's, that's pretty good. Thanks for watching, y'all.